this is part one of a whole new series of the golf cart. Uh, I'm going to be turning it into more of a go-kart type deal. So I'm going to be lowering it, uh, wheels, tires, probably throw in a quad rear end, maybe just a live axle from like Go Power Sports. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to start by taking off this top part and then the seat, which looks like it's just four bolts right there. That'll pop off and then work on the front and then I'll have more of a layout of what it's going to look like. Little update, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, working on getting that off now of the front end, I think. Now it just looks like a drop top golf cart. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. Uh, got the top off. I kind of dig in the look, but I do want it a lot lower. Um, so what I'm thinking is getting rid of this like custom two inch lift and then uh, cutting the spring. So it still has a little bit of suspension, but it lowers it, I don't know, probably about four inches, I'd say. And then the front just cut the spring, so they're roughly the same amount. But yeah, that's my uh, thought process right now. So I think I might want to put the uh, back headrest back on it, because when you're riding in it, like, like you hit a bump, you're just going to fly way back. Then again, I also don't know if I want to just take this whole thing off and then just kind of put like a bucket seat right here and then wrap the exhaust. But... So I'm just trying to think right now, because if I do that, I'm going to have to redo the whole steering assembly. I don't know. And I don't plan on really doing anything with the suspension until I figure out the rear end and the tire situation, because right now I don't have tires for it. Austin came over with a little gift. Supposedly Miata wheels are supposed to fit this, so we'll see. They fit, and they look fucking amazing. Only problem is that it hits the frame, so spacers. So you can find spacers pretty cheap on like eBay. Yeah. 50 bucks for a full set. Oh, fuck yeah. So we got all of the tires. And they're on there. So for right now, we're just going to be running Fords in the uh, front and the Miatas in the back just because we only have three Miatas and four Fords. Dude, that shit looks fire. That looks so good. So I got a fresh blade on the angle grinder. I know that uh, I'm going to need to cut some more to get the tires to fit on both sides. So I have no problem hitting full lock this way, but uh, it's hitting on the frame right there. So gonna take the angle grinder grind it down smooth it try to curve it in enough just to you know get it I was working on clearance and whatnot <laughs> broke the hammer I got all this like bent back and cut and bent down trying to get enough clearance for the big wheel but broke my hammer so with a lot of trimming uh, here we are it fits you can turn it there's no rubbing uh, the, yes, they're different sized rims. This one is a 15, that's a 14, but the tires are the same exact side when you put them on top of each other. So it might look goofy, but this is all just temporary until I can find another one of those. I think we only have about another 20 minutes of sunlight out, so I'm going to try to bang out this side real quick now that I know what I'm doing. So basically, this is what it looks like on this side. That one hasn't been touched yet. So I went the way around. Over here, you can just see how much more folded over, bent in it is. Okay, so, after a lot of uh, trimming and work, this is it. I haven't tested it yet, so it's all too long for this ride. Oh, uh, this is nice. I, think that, I knew that one was weird. That one's good. Now. Hit full lock. Oh, it looks like that corner. Yeah, that corner just needs to be bent in a little bit, but I'm calling it a night. I'm probably calling it a video, too. This will probably be the last of this part, and then next will be making it more go-karty.